Hey everybody, it's Robin at Old Town Finds. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I've been really busy for the last uh, couple weeks with homeschooling, um, life, doctor's appointments. It's that time of year for everybody to get their flu shots and blah, blah, blah. So it's been kind of hectic. I have done a couple of um, uh, shopping trips that I really didn't get a good quality uh, video on. So I am just going straight to the haul. Uh, we did hit a big auction. I'm not even going to touch any of that because we got so much and um, it's just too much for me to go over. We got two truckloads of stuff. So it's, it's a lot. But I've been also going here and there when I have a chance looking at the other small items. Um, I'm really trying to downsize like in what I purchase so um, I'm able to ship easier. Um, try to get, I'm really trying to get away from the large items. It doesn't always work though. I did get one thing that's large but it's really cool. Um, maybe two. Salvation Army twice. My son had speech therapy on Tuesdays so we're kind of there and I'm waiting. Um, I have about an hour or so wait, um, so I always run over to Salvation Army, and um, I also went over to the Good Shepherd in Greenville, Pennsylvania. Um, there's some amazing finds there, and um, I went over there on last Thursday when he gets his allergy shots. So um, yeah, whenever I'm out and about, I usually try to stop. So anyway. Um, let's try to go over some of this. Um, I'm sorry I'm getting over a little bit of a head cold thing, the winter weather and all that, the change and how dry it is and everything, so I apologize for how I may sound. Um, okay, first, I wanted to go over what I found at Good Shepherd. I found some really cool stuff, and I'm going to have to move stuff around. My table's real small on this end, so bear with me. First thing I found was this, I believe it's Ellie Smith, Bittersweet. It's just gorgeous. Um, swung vase, and I think it's about uh, 17, 18 inches. So it's going to be um, a little pain in the butt to ship, but not that big deal. But just trying to keep everything under the uh, dimensions for the new, or you know, the past year change for dimensional weight versus the actual weight is what's the pain. So it's in great shape. I picked this up at, um, it was funny, I was walking through, I was like, oh, and I just couldn't believe it was still sitting there. And I guess um, they must have just put it out that day. Um, I paid $2.99 for it. And I'm thinking I could probably get about 40, maybe a little bit more for it. Um, and that's maybe a little bit more with shipping. So I, I would like to clear 40. Um, okay. Which one? Which one? This I found over there as well. And it's missing the lid. And, but it's very pretty. It's an old, and it, it, it is a very old Pyrex mark on there. Um, I did pay $2 for it. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that mark very well with me in the background. I don't know if that's going to happen. Anyway, I paid $2 for it. It is old. There is a slight chip on the rim, a couple little things on the rim. And overall, the carrier is okay. It is starting to lose some of its um, chromine right here. But for the age, I might be able to score, I think, probably about close to 20. Um, maybe 25 with shipping on this. So I just like having the older Pyrex. I think those are cool. Um, and the last ones I've had sell pretty good too. Okay. This over here I got, and it's just a beautiful glaze. It is marked. I don't know if this mark is so crazy. It is pottery. It is a little vase, rose bowl type thing. Um, you can use it for whatever. It'd be really, really pretty to hold, like on your sewing tables, your some of your smaller items, uh, scissors, or pencils, or what have you. I don't know if this is Campbell. I don't even know, but the mark is kind of crazy. I don't know if you can see that. 
Um, but it is it is gorgeous. It's like a cobalt with almost like a burgundy purple in it. And it's just, it's great. That I paid 25 cents for. And I think I could probably get close to 20, 22 with shipping. It is heavy. It is a nice quality piece. Might even be able to get a little bit more for that. But I bought it for 10 cents. This I think I could probably get for $10, you know, $10 on it. It's a neat little cup, like a teacup, you know, hand handleless, like a, um, I don't know the proper name for a, this style of Chinese or Japanese uh, teacups, but um, it's very nice and you can use it for a multitude of things. So for 10 cents, I think I could probably get $10 out of it. And if I go under $10 on it, even if I list it for like 9 I won't do shipping on that. The buyer will pay shipping on that. This right here is a Blanco Leo the Lion. It is a Zodiac uh, ashtray. I don't know if you can see him good. And it is heavy, like I want to say six or seven pounds heavy. Um, now they have several of these that are out there um, in different styles. Like um, they're not heavy like this, and they have like the medallion that's just a flat, the flat part, like a wall or a window hanger. And then they have a different style one. I think a smaller, but these are right now listed, and I haven't checked up the solds too much, but they're listed anywhere for forty to eighty-five dollars. Eighty-five dollars had the shipping with it, and um, and I think the forty-four didn't, but it had something like twenty dollars on shipping. So right around sixty is what I'm thinking I could list it for with shipping included. Again, this is a good sizable piece, and other than being a little dirty, um, it's in really good shape, and I paid a dollar for it at the Good Shepherd. Good Shepherd is a local church organization uh, charity shop. So I love going there because they usually, uh, the church groups and stuff, they don't usually tend to compete with eBay like the other stores. Got this one. I think that's it. Or, no, one more. Okay. I got this. It's Kentucky, the Bluegrass State. Um, I sell, I like a lot of people don't like to mess with these little plates, but I sell these pretty well. I, I've, everyone I've gotten, I've sold. So I know there's a lot of horse lovers and even if it doesn't sell, we have horses. So I may just decide to keep it if, if it does not sell. Um, this one is marked, um, it's Japan Spin Original top quality and it has a, a, a picture on the foiled um, sticker of a little like top toy top I don't know if that's gonna show up but anyway it's it's not that big of a plate but they are collectible and it looks like it may have some no that's just the transfer there's no issues that I noticed with it other than it being dirty it does have the wire hanger um, so they make nice collector plates and a lot of, you know, like, there's a lot of horse lovers out there. This is on a, sort of like a replica of the Westmoreland, um, Fer de Lee, um, plate, where it's the reticula, the, the cart, um, cut out. It's almost like the same, the same, um, pattern, but it's porcelain. This one is Pottery Craft, and it says USA. I looked these up and, um, I saw one for... I think close to 50 45 or $50 and it is a um, four toned glaze um, I have to look up solds but it's it was kind of at two dollars yeah um, it's not signed by any artist it's just got the imprint right here on the side and it's a cute little vase so it has like gloss and then like a matte uh, finish on the bottom there and that is what I got from the Good Shepherd. So, now the rest is in, oh, my mistake. It's not everything I got from there. I do like getting old craft books, old sewing books in particular, or old crochet um, books. So, I did, and I have a 
bunch of these. I, I, I don't have any business pick anymore, but I, I will. <laughs> so I got some Simplicity um, Stitch by Stitch applique now I might even keep that one I like to sew I like to do applique so I don't know that looks like a pretty good book and then here's another one embroidery I love embroidery I have an embroidery machine um, so I would I would expect anywhere between five to twelve on these books depending on what they you know I had to look them up but usually I sell my books, like I've sold a few sewing specialty books, um, I think for like nine, ten dollars and then they paid for shipping on it. So I'm thinking realistically I could probably get away with nine to fifteen. Um, like this one's hardcover and I really don't know. This one is Serger Secrets, which I, I belong to quite a few sewing groups and I know like there's a lot of beginners out there. Um, so. I have those and I paid 25 cents each at the Good Shepherd. Okay, now on to um, my last two shop shopping trips to Salvation Army. These were one of the first things I picked up. I, I picked up a set of three of these and I really, I did a quick look and I really don't know what they are. They have holes in their feet and you know at first I thought maybe they were hanging but then I just don't know I don't see well, there's a little bit of wear but I don't see like you like these are glazed pottery so I don't see where like a chain would have or it might have even been a rope but I just don't know I don't know how how these were meant to be and I have to do more research we have a flamingo here and I have two different style uh, fish that one and then that one and they're just fun and I know like when I lived in Florida you know this kind of stuff is fun for the house um, sitting out on the porch because a lot of people have lanai or a sun porch with this that's screened in I'm thinking I paid $1.99 each. I kind of took a bet on them. And um, they're just so different. And they, they're hand painted. Um, but they're glazed over so the, the paint won't wear off very easily anyway. And they're pottery. And um, I'm thinking I could probably do $5 to $10 a bowl. Maybe more depending on if I can find any, you know, information about them. So that's that mm. okay over here oh and I found this like really cool on that same trip and this I did not research yet either I haven't had a chance I picked it up for four bucks and that's a little bit more than what I would like to pay for something like this that I don't know um I don't know who the little dude is who he's supposed to, you know, represent or anything. I, I just don't get it. I don't even understand. It looks like he's... I don't even understand the little, you know, picture there, whatever. But it is um, kind of embossed, you know. Um, and then there's that mark. And I'm hoping that I can find somebody who can help me with that mark. It is a very neat glaze. It's kind of um, like a, uh, a thin ivory glaze and then it has the brown base. It is very nice and it has um, like an older sticker on it. And so this is one I'm going to have to research. I really don't know much about it. It does have crazing on it. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. I paid $3.99. I would at least to expect to double to triple that. It might be worth more. I don't know. Then I found this guy. And I looked him up several times just quickly and hoping that I use different keywords to help me, you know, maybe uh, zone in on to what he is. Um, he's very mid-century to me. 
60s, 50s, 60s. He has a really nice deep green glaze with golden accents. Shepherd dog. And I got him for $4.99. And I believe I can get anywhere between, I would say, $20, $29 for him. The higher up would be with shipping. So... He's, very, he's a very nice looking dog. He's just a little dirty and dusty and that's it. Um, and he is not marked. So that's making it all the more fun to look it up. Okay, on that same trip, I found this depression glass. I think it's Ellie Smith. It does have like a Greek key design at the top there, rim. I did pay $1.99. I'm not sure. Um, I think it might have been 50% off though that day. And it's in really good shape. The one thing I did find when um, I was researching this is that it came with a black glass frog like this. It was a lid that like this is like huge compared to that. But and which I'm finding fascinating because I never even thought that they did something like that but like this one is rimmed this clear glass frog and it would sit you know nicely on something but it had a matching black uh, flower frog and it held like the stems of the flowers and so it would have been a little bit worth quite a bit more um, but as it stands this is worth about thirty thirty five dollars and I think at 35 I would I would include shipping with it. They go I saw one for 95 with the frog. So, yeah. Um so I'd be satisfied with 35 40 bucks for it. For sure, with uh shipping included. Yeah. It's in really good shape. It's just dirty. It needs to be cleaned up. Okay. And then I found these guys. And I believe these were also 50%. They started a new thing at my Salvation Army where they have two that are two uh, ticket colors that are 50% off that day, and then also a 99 cent. So actually, no, these were pink. These were 99 cents each, um, which would be 50% off anyway. Um, so um, anyway, they started this new process. They got rid of like the uh, discounts for um, the veterans and such. Um, I found these three. They are a heavy metal painted black and they have like a, a brass scene like Romanesque kind of scene on them. Something like you would see hanging either by a fireplace or in the kitchen. Very 1970s, 60s. And they are not marked. They have a number on them, but they don't mean squat. So um, I paid 99 cents a piece. I would think for the three, I could probably get close to $25, $30. They are heavy. So um, with the $30, I would expect to include the shipping with that. This is dirty, but it was neat. I, I don't know. And again, it has... The one thing I hate is looking up pottery marks. I mean, there's a few good, really good websites out there, but still, some of these are like, it's like trying to read Chinese to me, and I just don't do that well. <laughs> I don't have the patience to go through, and <clears throat> that and silver hallmarks. It, there's just, a, a, it, and I always find the one that's a little different from everything else. It looks like it should be that, but, you know. I start questioning everything and I overthink it and I'm like, Ugh, and I have to put it away for the day and come back to it the next day. I just hate it. So anyway, um, this is another marked piece and it is, it's neat. It's a nice cabinet piece. And I just, I just thought the design, I like the, the contrast on that. Just really pretty. And I paid, um, this one was 50% off, so I paid 99 cents for it. And I think I'd probably get 12, 15. And that would be, 15 would be definitely including shipping. This I found, and I was really excited because I looked, I picked it up and I only saw that. And then it wasn't until I got it home 
room and then I saw the little enamel paint on it. This looks to me like um, um, Mount Washington glass. It is um, the blue fade fade into like the opalescent base overlay and I am thinking I could probably do about 25-30 for it. I'm not really sure because it is so small but um, they are very collectible pieces of glass and um, even with the, the flowers it makes it a little bit more desirable I think and it's in really good shape. So I paid 99 cents for this and so yeah I'd be happy if I could sell it for 25 and that includes shipping but shipping's not going to cost that much on this so um okay so yesterday I went in and I found a few cool things this right here is Warwick China and it's pretty old now Warwick China was in business I think from like the 1870s to like 1951 and it might have been 1987 or 1887 something like that and um, this is like their flow blue pattern um, and for those that aren't familiar with flow blue it is where the blue kind of bleeds in the pattern it's not a clear like transfer color um, it bleeds and it kind of leaves like a what I always think of as like a flow into the actual background so um, this one has quite a bit of crazing it does have some um, chips on it I did pull one up um, doing a quick look and they have a plate just a standard plate with the same pattern on it um, they're asking 65 so this is I believe what they would um, you can use this as like a dresser um, tray but um, what I've seen these come with like a teapot so um, like you would serve your cream or sugar with it on here or something um, but it would make a beautiful like cabinet display plate and um, I'm thinking realistically probably about 40 with shipping so maybe a little bit more but um, I have not seen this oblong platter size it's not a huge platter so it's, it'd be a nice cabinet display for sure so yeah oh and I paid $2.99 for it and I think it's pretty it's a European castle is the pattern I don't know if I showed that to you up close it does have all kinds of crazy and age with it. Is that showing? So, I got Pyrex Happy. Um, this one does have quite a bit of scratches on it. I paid $4.99. It is the, I think, the Daisy something pattern. Um, the princess shaped bowl. But it does have a lot of... Um, Scrap, scratch, scratching on the the finish. I still I paid four ninety nine and I think I could get at least twelve to fifteen without shipping on that. So I have to weigh it and figure it out. Um, I'm thinking twenty four to twenty six with shipping because it's heavy and it's going to take a big box. I got this set here. Um, this is. Happy Butterfly, I think. I don't know. It is a set. They're golden, and they have a flower with the butterflies on the ends. I have the small bowl. And then the midsize, and then the larger bowl. The larger bowl has a lot of scuffing on it, and I may be able to get that out. I'm thinking I probably can. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um... So these mixing bowls, I think I could probably do, I paid two, four, eight dollars for the set. And I think I could probably get 35 or so for it, 35, 40. 
um, closer, of course, the higher I go, the more I start calculating, well, I might have to throw in shipping at that price. So, um, I'll have to do a little bit more re research. I can't forget, I looked it up yesterday and I cannot remember to save my life what the comps were on that. They were, you know, the Pyrex is all over the place. So, um, I, I like to go pretty conservative on the, on the side of the buyer. I don't like to, I like to, I like to try to move my stuff as much as possible. So that's what I'll do. I'll do some cleaning up on them and see how they turn out and price goes from there. Okay, um, this is Blazin' Rocks and it is pleather and their bags sell really all over the place. I did find the same um, design that sold, I believe it was relatively cheap, somewhere like 15-ish but it was the bag that had this whole design on the front of it. This is more of a, uh, like a uh, messenger type style. It's not a really long shoulder, but, um, and then it has the weaving around it and some bling on your shoulder strap, some rhinestones and some studs. There is one rhinestone that is missing right there. And, but even so, I mean, you can't really tell. It's there, though. And it's clean. And the only other thing I saw on this was there is a corner that has just a little bit of wear on that. But it's nothing. Nothing, uh, you know. It's been gently used. It has a very pretty um, paisley inside. And side pockets and such. So I'm thinking I, I paid $9.99 for this. A little bit too much, and um, but I think I could at least double my money on it. I'm thinking I could list it for probably between $24.29 with shipping included. I'd be totally good with that. And if, even if I have to break it down a little bit, um, you know, I think I, I think it still can be sold at that price. Though I did see one that sold for I think around $15. But like I said, it had this pattern, but it was all plain and it didn't, wasn't this style bag. And um, most of their bags that I've seen that have like the bling on them, um, they bring a little bit more money. And, but the front is in really good shape. And it has a really neat western scene on there. And, um, oh. I've been looking for a chain for one of mine, and I saw this in their display case, and I don't even know if it's marked. I didn't even take the time to look. I just thought it was cool. It is a magnifying glass, and it might be, yeah, it looks like a scratched, but um, I liked the chain, and I always, like when I go to auctions, I have my own magnifying glasses that are um, kind of small and I've been thinking about throwing I have some that are smaller than this that are pretty ornate but I thought it'd be pretty cool I have one that I could put on a chain and just to hang it so I found this guy and I thought it was cool for $2.99 uh, yeah yeah so it's a little key like a skeleton key with the magnifying glass and so I think that's gonna be a keeper maybe so I don't think I don't know unless there's a mark on the magnifying glass. This is just um, gold tone, nothing amazing, um, but still it's cool, you know, just to wear out for the evening of doing an auction or when I go um, buying. So yeah, and that is all I've done. And uh, sales have been kind of slow, like the this first part of the week. Um, which is okay. It's given me a little bit of time to kind of rebound and get focused on listing. I've gotten, I think I've gotten back up there with my uh, listings to where I was before the crazy holiday. And um, so um, some people freak out when it gets slow, but I know there's an ebb and flow of everything. The rhythm is always changing and it allows me to get myself back out there. I, I, you know, I'm able to cross post on Instagram and on Facebook and, um, you know, on eBay and Etsy, everything that I'm doing, it allows me to do all that back work. Um, 
And so I, I, I personally appreciate when it does, when I do get kind of a lull, because I know I can catch up on stuff like that. Um, and also kind of straighten up my shop and get a little bit organized. That is still a challenge. But um, anyway, thank you for stopping by. And I hope you learned something. And I think that, um, you know, now is a great time to be, you know, thrifting, to resell, to, you know, add to your income. Um, time is, you know, never better than it is right now. So um, enjoy it. And I hope that maybe this inspires you to go out there and do something like it. So I appreciate it. Please remember to like and subscribe. And um, uh, all your support really means a lot. So have a great day. And thanks for stopping by.